Good morning. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in today for notes for the morning. This morning we are involved in part of that point that we made in our last two devotions. We are trying to exalt the Lord Jesus Christ. David said, one thing I've desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. In Psalm 27, 4, David relates why he made that statement. It was, number one, to behold the beauty of the Lord. David wanted to know more about God, his holiness, his perfection, his power, all of the characteristics of God. And secondly, David said to inquire in his temple. David wanted the wisdom of God. He knew in times of trouble, in all kinds of times, he wanted to be able to come to the throne of grace and to obtain mercy and grace to help in time of need. Then thirdly, David said, to hide me in times of trouble. David knew that his enemies were stronger than he was. We know that our enemies are stronger than we are. We need God in times of trouble, in times of need, when it's past our strength. And even if we had the strength, we need to know how to engage the enemy. We need to know how to do to win the battle against the enemy. And so we go to the throne of grace. We go to where God dwells. We go to the temple of God. Now today, David said to set me up on a rock. As we analyze that statement this morning, the key is a rock. David was interested, concerned about a place of stability. David wanted to know that he could, in fact, lean upon God. He wanted to be uh, a one with confidence and one with assurance. And so when we look at it figuratively, we're talking about a refuge. We're talking about a stone of strength, when we need to be elevated above the situation, when we need to be in a place, uh, we know that we are being supplied everything that we need. We go to God's temple. David considered God as the origin and source of all power. He knew that God was the controller of his steps. In fact, he wrote in Psalm 37 and 23, the steps of a good man are ordered or established by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. And so as you analyze Psalm 27 and verse 4, in our text today, the part that we're dealing with is being set up on a rock. What I see in it, that there is something personal uh, and powerful and particular about that statement. David knew that it would be God that would come to his aid and set him, that is, God's power would do that for him. And it would be a personal thing. It would be for him. Sometimes we need to understand that God sees us, knows us at all times, no matter where we are, no matter what condition that we're in, no matter what situation we're in, we know that in the temple of God, he views his people. Paul wrote, all things work together for good to them that love God and thee called according to his purpose. We know that we have that inner witness that we are a son of God, that we are a child of God. And being so, he is our father. Then we know that God has a purpose for us. 
When we look at the situation of a rock, we think about a foundation. We think about strength and stability. And so my first point is that God, our rock, is our supply. In Isaiah 48 and 21, Isaiah wrote, And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He claved the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There was a need for the children of Israel as they passed through the wilderness for 40 years. God supplied. God lifted them up on the rock, Christ Jesus, and supplied what they need. In 1 Corinthians, Paul wrote in chapter 10 and verse 4, And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. And so we are not stretching this thing too far because the Bible makes known that Jesus Christ was that rock out of which flowed the water that supplied the need, the thirst for those in the wilderness that were his children. But not only is the foundation a foundation of supply, when we have a need, God is there. God is there every second of every day. But the foundation is also a place of safety. David said, the Lord is my rock in Psalm 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock. God, Jehovah, is my rock. My Savior is my rock. And he is my fortress. He's my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. David knew that God, the rock of ages, was his foundation of safety. He could hide in the rock. And so he said, Luke said, in fact, in chapter 6, in verse 48 in the New Testament, he is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the floods arose, the streams beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. And so we praise God that we have been given illumination. To know where God is, is where the foundation is. He is the foundation of all supply. He is the foundation of all safety. And God is the foundation of our salvation. In Psalm 40 and verse 2, David writes, He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and establish my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and trust in the Lord. Now the reason that God is our supply, he is our safety, is because he's God. He's the only one true and living God. He is our God. He is our rock. And out of that rock flows everlasting water, eternal water. That is the spirit of the living God. Jesus said himself in John 7 and 37, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood Christ saying, if any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He is the water of life. He is the living water. He that believeth on way, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Father, we thank you for this time together today. And I thank you, God, every day when we come to you, we know that we're coming to the rock. We know that we're coming to a place of stability. We're coming to a place of supply to a place of safety. We are, in fact, standing upon the rock of our salvation, 
the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, if there is any that are listening to this broadcast this morning, and they are hungering and thirsting after righteousness. You said in Matthew 5, they shall be filled. In fact, in Revelation 22 and 17, and the spirit and the bride say come, and let him that heareth say come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. Thank you, God. Thank you that you are the rock. You are what you have placed us upon. You have placed us upon all your promises. All that you are is where we are. All because of the blood atonement of Jesus Christ for us. We ask these things in Jesus' name today, God. We pray that you encourage the believer. Encourage him today, God, to know where he is standing. Where it is, is a person, the Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen.